What's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in. The weekend is here. And no, the title is not clickbait. I'm in a weird spot right now with the FRS. Um, I've been thinking about this for a couple weeks. Uh, I think the car just deserves more. So right now, I don't have a plan for this video. I'm just going to go over what I mean. I'm going to go over the evolution between me and this car and where we're at today. So I got the car back in, I think it was mid-September. Loved the car then. Love the car now. I uh, drove it around, you know, going into winter, I drove it less. Uh, I was going to buy a cover for it for the winter. Never ended up really buying a cover for it. There wasn't many snowstorms. I drove it through the winter as much as possible, but not a lot. Obviously, it's a sports car. Um, I thought it would be great to take on trips when we were going to the mountains, things like that. We only went with it one time. Um, as I sit here right now, there's 3,100 miles on the car. So I haven't used it as much as I thought I would use it. But what really happened and what, what really makes this video um, happen today is ever since I got the Platinum, this car is being neglected. And I hate to say that because I genuinely do like the car. But the Platinum is taking up a lot of my attention. Another thing for this car was when I bought it, I thought it would be kind of like a yin and a yang for the channel. There'd be the Tundra, so you'd have, you know, your truck on one end, and then you'd have something completely opposite. Sports car on the other end, I could make videos of both, but the videos for this car never took off. Only one FRS video I ever made beat 10,000 views. Um, I've kind of juggled the idea of bringing the FRS back to the channel and giving it another shot, maybe giving it one more day. That way at least I would drive it a little bit. Um, and another thing is, and this is this is stupid, and I gotta throw it out there though. So the way my driveway is set up, I don't know if you can see it, see if you can see it in the camera. So behind me right now, oh, there we go, this way. Behind me right now is, is the Tundra. So if I want this car, I gotta move the Tundra, and pull this out, and then pull the Tundra back in, which is, you know, whatever, but it's still a pain. That leads to a lot of, <laughs> of it sitting in the driveway. Uh, but now it being warm out, I should have it out a lot more. But every time I take it out, you know, I'm by the, by the ocean. So, you know, everybody's always coming in from all over the place, things like that. You know, I'm driving to and from work. Cars pull up next to me, you know. The younger guys want to race. I don't want to race. You know, um, I just feel like this car is way better for a younger person. Uh, and I don't mean to call myself old, but I'm definitely out of that mode of like, I don't want to stance the car. I don't want to do a, a huge wing on it. Nothing crazy like that. You know, I like to do subtle things. This has an intake in it. I would like, or I would have liked to do an exhaust. But I'm a truck guy. You know, I got this because it was something a little different. Something that would be fun to try. I'm glad I bought it. There is another car I am interested in. Maybe not tomorrow, but down the road. And that is a Lexus RC300. Uh, I feel like Lexus is more my speed. It's got performance and a lot of uh, luxury too. You know, this car is pretty plain Jane, straight to the point, but I, I really do like this car. I gotta keep saying that. I don't hate this car in any way. I'm just not using it a lot and it's not on the channel like I expected it to be. So the FRS days are numbered, but you know, how many days, I'm not sure. It could be, you know, a long time from now. It could be tomorrow, I don't know. Probably won't be tomorrow. I am gonna try to, you know, drive the car more often. Like I said, I do. When I'm in the car driving the car, I love the car, I'm glad I bought the car, happy with the car. But when I drive the Tundra day in, day out, and I see it sitting here, that's when I, I kinda go through a, you know, it's a waste to have you sitting here. Ugh. So I'm kind of in a, a mental mode with it of, of what I don't, I don't really know what to do. So I guess you guys can help me out here. What do you think? I know all the truck guys are gonna say, get rid of the car and try to dig a little deeper than that. Uh, let's do some pros and cons with it. What do you think? Good points to keep in the car, bad points to keep in the car. How would you feel about the car getting one day a week on the channel? Would you support it? I don't want to make a video for the FRS once a week and have 50 views, you know, when the Tundra every day is hitting at least a thousand views every day. 
Um, I'd like to incorporate, don't get me wrong, I would like to incorporate the car in the channel, but I'm only going to do it if you guys want it. So as you can see, I'm very confused, but yeah, it is a fun car to have. I do enjoy it. It is everything I thought it would be, except it's very bumpy. That's why the wife doesn't like to bring this to uh, Pocono too much, because by the time we got to Pocono, man, we were hurting. This thing is bumpy. You know, the Tundra's, you know, it's more of a relaxing ride. It's more of a first class experience. This is more of a sports car experience, which it is what it is. But yeah, I'm looking for what you guys think here. Um, so yeah, comment below the video and tell me, should I get rid of this thing, keep this thing, do a day with the channel? If it stays, it's gotta be on the channel at least a day a week. So help me out here. I need your help. Twitter and Instagram at Tundra Dude 34. Comment below the video. Have a good one.